So time, time is a big one. Um, shows up in, in dreams a lot more than people realize. Um, just because it's not like an actual symbol. It's more of um, like the other things that indicate the symbol. I mean, sometimes there is clocks and stuff, but like a, like birthdays, birthday in a dream. You know, that's a celebration of one full cycle around the sun. You know, you, you've elevated to a higher form. You know, and that's what time's going to represent. It's not, it's not linear. You know, time, time is to indicate the passing of, of time in order to indicate uh, growth. Um, you know, the day is, you know, five hours in, not necessarily because it's passed for five hours, but it's grown five hours. You know, you've grown for, you know, I've grown for 37 years. And so how does that relate to the consciousness is how your consciousness grows, the elevation of your consciousness. So time, you know, for us, we always, you know, in school, we did timelines. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here at the age of one, I was like this. My family was doing this. At the age of two, at the age of three, you know, now I'm eight and I'm in school doing this project. You know, we do timelines. You know, in, in consciousness, more like this. I mean, like here it's, you know, here I was 10, here I was 20, here I was 30, you know, but here we have the elevation of consciousness. You know, you're on level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six. So, you know, you're growing. And learning and as you're growing and learning but sometimes you know we're like teenagers and we just don't really grow anymore somebody can end up being you know 50 years old over here still have the mindset of a teenager you know other times you know like we're growing and growing and growing and then boom something happens and we start transforming and just within a matter of one year you go up six different levels now you're you know just one year ago you were right here just one year later you're way up here you know, because of things that you've gone through, things that you understand, and, and things like that. I hope that makes sense. Weird drawing this here. Pretty sure I did. Um, so, time in a dream is all about how much you are progressing. All right. <clears throat> so, you know, in a birthday, in a dream, you've completed one full cycle. You know, you went from one jump to the next, from one level to the next. Because life is all about lessons, you know, and when we learn lessons is something like I talked about in last last week's video. You know, we, we learn these lessons and when we graduate, we still come back to a similar lesson, but it's just on a more elevated form. You know, like for example, um, you know, if if someone's in like an abusive relationship where, you know, they're getting beaten things and finally eventually they, you know, find a way to to finally leave, you know, to save their life, then they're, you know, have a, a learned a lesson on self-love, you know what I mean? And so the other, the outer experience stimulated them to like, or push them into learning about themselves. And so they learned about self-love. They actually learned the lesson this time and they find a new relationship. And this person is amazing. And so they're, I mean, this person is always encouraging them, uplifting them, you know, and doing everything that they would possibly want. A completely opposite person from the previous person because they learned the lesson, so they're creating a new experience. Well, it'll still come around to self love, you know, they'll still come back around to that same lesson, you know. So you're still, you're just, you know, it's like digging a hole, you're you've dug deep on this understanding. Now you have an opportunity to dig even deeper. So now it's, it's on a higher level. So now instead of learning the lesson of self love by being pushed you know, into it, they're being pulled into it. This person stimulates them to, to want to go deeper, to want to become better, to want to connect to themselves more, you know? So, so it's the same lesson, but it's just deeper understanding, you know, just like, you know, like I said last week, math, you know, you start with pre-algebra, then you move on to algebra one, you, know, you move on to geometry, move on to trigonometry. It's all still math. It's all still numbers and equations, you know, but life's the same way. So those are two examples I use all the time. 